Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you find this content valuable and something that you look forward to seeing, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below so you're notified anytime um, I post a new video. But tonight I'm doing something a little different. Um, tonight I am reviewing a couple of my top fragrances, my top three fragrances in my collection at this moment. Um, I say it like that because it is always changing and always evolving based on what I'm trying, what mood I'm in, but at the moment, if I could only keep three in my collection, these are the top three that I would keep. Before we get started, let me tell you a little bit about my fragrance journey. So when we moved down to Texas from New York about three years ago, um, it was when I was about eight months pregnant, seven months pregnant, um, I had my baby, we had a few months and then bam, the pandemic hits and there wasn't too much to do. And I was always a one fragrance type of girl. I had Alien Essence Absolute, which I absolutely adored. I wore it to my wedding, I wore it every day. I wore it in all seasons. It's not really um, a fragrance that you can wear in all seasons, but I did because if you love something and it smells good to you, wear it anytime you wanna wear it. Um, but anyway, so I had that. It was my one fragrance in my, my collection, my one fragrance that I would spray, whether I was going to work, whether I was going out, whether I was just doing brunch, whatever it was. So when we moved down here, something crazy happened. I realized that my favorite fragrance, the one that my, my ride or die was discontinued. Um, and it was time for me to find a few fragrance. I went like about a year or so. I shouldn't say, I found out before I moved down here that the fragrance was discontinued. But um, during that time, I kept trying to find bottles online, find them on eBay, um, until I realized, you know what, there's so many fragrances out there that I haven't explored yet. It's really time that I try some new ones out and see what, you know, just goes with me and fi find a signature. That was the intent. Um, along the way, what I found out was I just love fragrances. So many different kinds for so many different occasions that I started buying and buying and buying more. Again, pandemic, you're not going out. It's just nice to be home and smelling good and something to do and something different. I watched so many fragrance review videos um, and probably purchased one too many fragrances as well. I have a few in my collection that I should probably think about getting rid of um, and reselling, unfortunately, but I do have these three here tonight that I'd love to talk to you about because they just um, really speak to me. So without further ado, let's jump into the first fragrance. Uh, by the way, I sprayed all three of these on me about two hours ago, so I'm just gonna give a little smell before I spray again. Okay, so here's my first fragrance. Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Kirk de Jean. Um, this fragrance is obviously very well known in the fragrance community. Um, you know, this may be the first time that you're seeing this, but if you've watched reviews on some people's favorite fragrances, love it or hate it, uh, this one comes up quite a bit. It smells so good. What's funny is I didn't think that the first time I got it. So my first recommendation, this house, Maison Francis Kirk de Jean, has a ton of really excellent, excellent perfumes. Um, Grand Soir is one that I adore and I absolutely love it on my husband. Um, they have, they have some other ones. Um, Oud Satin Mood, which is another gorgeous, gorgeous scent. Um, so what I really highly, highly recommend doing is if you can't get your hands on, on a sample of this, or if you go to your local department store and they don't carry this, some of them do, some of them don't. Um, so if they don't, I highly recommend getting on the, the, the MFK website and ordering their sample set. They have a set of four for $25. Um, I think it's this one, the one I just mentioned, who's that mood, Grand Soir might be in there. It might not, um, but take a look. But it's four of them for $25, which I think is a really great deal if you're exploring fragrances. Um, it's an experience when you get it and it comes home and you get to sit and, and you know do the different scents and see what really speaks to you. But anyways, when I got this sample, I sprayed it for the first time and I was like, okay, it's nice. I get, like, I get why people like it, but I wasn't blown away. I thought, all right, this is not not going to be my signature fragrance. And for the price of this, this retails for the 2.4 ounce. This is 
the Eau de Parfum. Um, this retails, this is, yeah, 2.4 fluid ounces, so that's 70 milliliters. And this retails for $325. So, I mean, you have to love it. It, it needs to just speak to you, it needs to be yours, and, and you need to feel that way if you're going to be buying a bottle of this perfume. So, let me just, let me give it a quick spray. So I sprayed this the first two times and I thought, or the first few times, over a couple of days, I thought, okay, it's nice, it's nice, it's nice. After about a week or two, and this is another great reason to get samples and have something home that you could try over a few days or maybe a week or two weeks, because <laughs> fragrance does something to you over time. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether each time you spray it based on the heat or the temperature that day, different notes come out. Um, maybe your body chemistry just changes ever so slightly on a day-to-day -day basis and you get different versions of it. Ugh. But I love this fragrance. One of the reasons why I love it so much, I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's the best thing I've ever smelt, which sounds kind of weird. Why would this be in your top fragrances? This has a nostalgic feel to me. When I smell this, um, so the notes in this perfume, you have your top notes with our um, saffron. I know there's jasmine, um, there's ambergris. So ambergris is a molecule note. And then you also have cedar wood in it. It smells so good. It's just a nice, pleasant smell. It's not too overbearing. If you've read any reviews on this, you might've seen that it has a little bit of a medicinal smell. I don't get that too much. Have you ever walked into like a doctor's office or, or some, or like a gas station, okay? And obviously the smell is strong and it's not all that pleasant. You definitely wouldn't wanna buy a bottle of that scent and spray it on you. But at the same time, there's something about the scent that you're like, oh, that's, that's I like that. Um, this has, when when I smell that medicinal smell, for me personally, it's it's the nice smell that comes along with it, the smell I enjoy. But I definitely smell the saffron. There's almost a little bit of a cotton candy undertone, a sweetness to it. I don't think this is a very sweet perfume. I know some people do. I feel like it really balances out the saffron and more of like the woody scent to this. The other thing is I think the ambergris keeps it very transparent, very light, but it's not a light perfume. I'll spray this on me and it will last all day. I'll spray it on my clothes and I'll smell it on my clothes two days later. It, it, you spray it once in the morning and you are good to go for the day. That's all you need um, and it's lovely. I also think this is a great perfume because it's very inoffensive. I can't stop smelling myself. Um, when I wear this perfume as well, this is your, if you are looking for a signature scent, you don't want a perfume collection. You don't want to be thinking about what you're going to spray on yourself. You just want something that you love that is your go-to day-to-day. Whether you're going to the mall, whether you're going out to eat, whether you're going to work, whether you're going to the doctors, wh whatever it might be, um, I just think this, the reason this is in my top three scents of all time at the moment is just because you can wear this at any time in any season. I don't feel like this has a stamp on it of, oh, this is definitely a summer fragrance or this is a, a winter fragrance, nothing at all. This is, it's light and transparent and easy to wear through all of the seasons um, and, and really to any event. I went to my brother's wedding almost two years ago now and it was funny, I was taking some pictures with my sister and the photographer is like, okay, stop. Which one of you are wearing Baccarat? I love that scent. I've been thinking about getting that scent and I was like, oh, I, I love it. It's mine, get it, you need it. Um, it just smells so lovely and it really can be just that one perfume that you get and, and that's it, wear it for everything. Um, and because it's so transparent and light, I also feel like it's just, it's very, I, I mean, I wouldn't overspray it by any means, but I just feel like it's very easy to just fit into any occasion. So that is Baccarat Rouge 540, one of my favorites at all time. And, and just look at this, look at this, this is so pretty. And on the flip side, look, 
on the back of the label. Look how pretty that is. I just love it. I love it. I love looking at, at it on my vanity and I love obviously smelling it. It's a wonderful perfume. Um, the other thing I will say about this perfume, um, which is a good one to call out. One of the reasons why I was looking for a new signature perfume too is I wanted a perfume that I could wear that at the time I had just had my daughter um, and I wanted something that would, if she smelt it in the future, that it would be nostalgic to her. She could would relate that in her mind to me. Um, and I love that this is a smell that she will smell and then think of me for. So hopefully, um, but I, another, so if you're around babies too or small children, I, I think it's, it's light enough to, to, um, to be worn around them as well. Okay. Next one. This one is a newer purchase of mine. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. It's Killian's Black Phantom. Oh, this one's so good. Um, so this one may be the one that I would say is the best smelling fragrance I've ever smelt. So fragrance is very, um, very personal. Everyone has smells notes a little bit differently um, and, and different notes speak to you. And one of the one of the qualities that I love about fragrances, I love warm fragrances, I love ambery fragrances, um, I love deep fragrances, spicy. Um, now, Baccarat, I wouldn't say is any of those things. It's, it's just a scent that I really love that I feel like could be used for anything. Black Phantom, on the other hand, this is not something that I think everyone would go for and reach for. This has notes of rum, coffee, dark chocolate. Oh, vetiver, let me spray it, sandalwood, cedarwood. The sandalwood's done right too. I am iffy with some sandalwood perfume. Sometimes that note turns a little bit on me if it's not done in a certain way. Um, just with my body chemistry, this one, love it. Let it dry for a sec. Mm. The opening, when you first spray it, it's definitely, I get the rum right off the bat. The coffee comes through in a few minutes and there's the sweetness. I get the vanilla almost, if there's vanilla, is there vanilla? No, no, it's more like sugar, sugar cane. And it's not a heavy sugar cane. It's not like you're smelling direct sugar cane. With the mix of the coffee in the background and the rum, it smells just really, really lovely. I, I love this perfume, I love it. Um, this one is 1.7 ounces and retails for $260. So it's it's pretty much, I mean, Baccarat is 325, but you're getting a bit larger size. This one's a little bit smaller, but it's a little bit cheaper. So um really they're they're quite comparable, I would say, in price. Again, on the Killian website. So this is, if I didn't mention, this is Black Phantom. It's by Killian. Um, on their website, you can get a sample set. You can actually choose five of your own samples, which I love. They give you the option. I was just on there a little while ago. I think there's like 12 or 15 options on there. So you get to pick five for $30. So again, highly recommend just going directly onto the website and ordering yourself a few samples to see what really speaks to you. Definitely read through, see what notes um, and perfumes you might like to, um, like to try and do it that way. I discovered this by ordering the sample set myself. I had gotten Black Phantom, Intoxicated, um, Rolling in Love, Good Girl Gone Bad, and I mean, probably love, I'm trying to think, maybe love was separate. I can't remember. Um, but this is the one that stood out to me. Just because this, this speaks my language of fragrance. It, it's just deep and chocolatey and coffee and it's boozy. And I love boozy fragrances. So long as like, I don't smell like I just chugged a bottle of whiskey and walked out the door. It, it, it's more of just, it, it gives it that balance with the sweetness that I really enjoy in this. 
Now, what I will say about this fragrance is, you know, Baccarat, when I spray it and it opens up, it kind of evolves a little bit over a few hour period. Some of those medicinal qualities start to dissipate. I'd say a little bit more of the sweetness comes through. I mean, it's beautiful. It stays, it gets beautiful and it stays beautiful. But for Black Phantom, I really feel like what you spray is kind of what you get. Um, and then it just dies down throughout the day. My one complaint with this one is for the first few hours, I smell it. Then I start, it turns kind of into a skin scent, I would say maybe around four or five hours. And then after, I don't know, six to eight hours, somewhere in that realm, it's gone. It's gone. Baccarat will stay on me overnight. This stays on me forever. This dissipates. So um, that's the one thing that's actually what kept me from buying it for so long is because I love the scent, but I realized it, it, it went way too quick. And I was like, do I want to smell that, spend that money for something that, um, that just goes away that quickly? Um, but I just, I kept using up my sample and I just loved the scent so much that I just had to get it. I love it. And I don't have anything else that compares. Um, I do reach for this, I would say more in the winter months, cooler weather, nighttime, um, not so much in the summer, but if you're in the summer and, and you're feeling kind of, I don't know, something about this also makes me feel like a sexy pirate. You know, like you're going out, you're drinking, it's summertime. I don't know, I, I wouldn't not wear it in the summer. It's just not my go-to um, that time of year, especially like during the day or just running errands. I. I probably wouldn't wear this. Um, I get lots of compliments on this one. I wouldn't say it's a safe blind buy, but if you like deep gourmand fragrances, I don't think you could hate this one. It has a little bit of spice, but not too much spiciness where it's going to throw someone off. I, My personal opinion there. But... Yes, that is Killian's Black Phantom. And then for my third and final one, which really just helps round this out. So you have Baccarat, which is just my every occasion, signature scent, go-to scent for anything. You have Black Phantom, which is more my, my night out, my winter, my fall, my, um, you know, sexy night or whatever you would say for just like wanting to feel, to feel good and to go out um, and just to get, maybe if you're looking for like attention or you want people to smell you and you want the compliments, this is a great, uh, Killian's Black Phantom is great for that. My third one, my third one's my happy scent, my summer scent, my, um, I shouldn't even call it a summer scent. I feel like this scent, you can wear it all year round. It's really fantastic. Um, it speaks to me personally. And that one is, Mandorlo di Sicilia by Aqua di Parma. This one, you know, with all the review videos and everything that I watched trying to find a fragrance, this was not one of the ones that came across my way. I'm trying to remember how I discovered it, but I think I remember. Because a lot, as I was mentioning before, a lot of what I like is deeper, heavier, um, you know, you got the vanilla bases, a little bit of sweetness. You also might have some spices that really just um, make it more appropriate for fall and winter. That's kind of like my go-to scents and the ones that speak to the, me the most are typically those scents. Milky scents, oh my gosh, I love milky scents. Um, one that I do not have, Javoy, Remember Me. Um, that's one that I actually would like to get. I've sampled it, it's lovely, but Aqua de Parma, Mandorlo di Sicilia. This one, you know, wasn't talked too much about. Um, and I started looking up and researching um, scents that were a little bit more vanilla based that could be worn in the summertime. Um, because one thing that it's hard for me to find, and I have to go through a lot of them, is I'm not particularly a citrus fan or a fresh smelling fan. Um, there's a few perfumes that I do have in my collection that are a bit more citrusy. Um, Tom Ford's Eau de Soleil Blanc. Um, I actually think that's it, but, and, 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 and this one. Um, but this one is more of a vanilla-based 
almondy perfume that you can wear um, more in the summertime. Now, I've read some reviews that say this really isn't a summertime scent because it has vanilla in it. Well, I like vanilla year round. I used to wear Alien Essence Absolute, and that one was a vanilla based, and I wore it all year round. So this one is lighter, fresher. Um, it's sparkling. When I first spray this, um, I know it's supposed to be based off of like an almond cookie in, in Italy, but mm, when I first smell this, I smell the almond and I smell root beer. Um, but in a good way, not in like a super sugary syrupy type of way in more of just like a, like you just got it out of the fountain and you get that waft of root beer with that almond and the vanilla base, which makes it nice. Now, as I wear this one, this one, again, it probably lasts me similar to Killian's. Um, I'd say the first few hours I smell it, then it turns into a skin scent and then it's gone probably within six hours or so. For a fresh summer scent, what I consider a fresh summer scent, I actually think this does last a pretty pretty good time. Um, I actually first, since I, the one thing is I could not find a sample of this one. And I love trying perfumes before I actually purchase a full bottle. So I was on the Sephora website and at the time I just checked, they don't have it anymore. They had like this travel size one. Um, it's one fluid ounce. And this one, I, I wanna say I spent like $80 on. So this one I bought, and I was like, you know what? It's Sephora. If I hate it, I can just bring it into the store and return it, which isn't my intention when I purchase perfumes, but I knew that I had that as a backup. I loved it. I loved it from first spray. I was totally blown away. It smells so nice right now. So the other thing is I feel like at first it pops with like that root beery smell, but as time goes on, that vanilla base comes more up to the top and just mellows it out, but it still keeps that sparkling, effervescent, light smell that makes it so appropriate for warmer weather. Um, now, once I had gotten that travel size and realized how much I loved it, I knew it was going to be my go-to summer scent because it's so hard to find something that fits my mood of summer, but also gives me that, that creamy fragrance that I tend to be drawn to. So I bought this huge five fluid ounce bottle, 150 milliliters. I ended up getting this, I think on the Saxoff fifth website, might've even been fragrance net. I can't, I can't remember exactly, but it was like 70 bucks. So I ended up spending less for my five fluid ounce one than I did for my sample one from Sephora. But again, it's not my intent to buy something and test it out just to return it. So, um, you know, I kept this one. I also, it's great for travel. Like I said, since I like it in the warmer weather, I've brought it with me on vacations. I've brought it with me when we're traveling back to New York in the summer. Um, I do, I, I really do love this scent. And I feel like, you know, overall, like I said, I'm drawn to some of those creamier, um, vanilla based scents. I really like jasmine scents. A lot of these also have cedar wood in them. I can't help it. This one, this opens up, there's uh, bergamot, there's um, almonds, there's, I think there's jasmine and ylang ylang. And then in the base, we have some cedar wood and musk. It's really good. It's really good. It, it's just a nice light, warmer weather scent. However, when I say that, it definitely can be worn year round. This wouldn't be my going out scent in the winter. I just, I, I love fragrances that have like a lot of depth to them. I don't think that's quite this fragrance, but out of all of these, f for um, the cost of it, I feel like it's the most practical. I love the big bottle. You could spray it on, you could reapply it as needed. I just think it's a really great um, scent. And if you are like me and you're looking for a summer scent, but you're not, um, you know, full on citrus, citrus or a crushy person, um, I think this is a great option to explore. Now, all three of these fragrances are all unisex. Um, I do find, I think they all are 
truly, I, th I think a man or a woman who, and you know, just depending on the smells that you like, I, I really think anyone could pull off either. Honestly, what fragrance comes down to is what do you like? What makes you happy? So, um, you know, I, if you were to ask me with Mandorlo di Cecilia, this one I feel like is probably leaning a little bit more feminine if I had to go one way. I read a lot of reviews that say it's more masculine. So, I mean, it's, it's a hard one to say. Um, the same with Black Phantom. I really do think this is truly unisex. I don't think this leans more masculine or feminine. I think um, because more men are more used to having vanillas and, and some of those deeper um, uh, notes in, the, in their fragrances, I feel like maybe just it's what they're used to and, and it kind of goes along to that more, but I think anyone could wear this. Baccarat, personally to me, I think leans a little bit more feminine. Um, it's one of the ones that my husband's never tried to steal. Um, which is good because I won't let him because he, I do share quite a bit of my fragrances with him. But for Baccarat, that's the one that I selfishly want all to my own to be my own signature set and just go to set. So it just, it is what it is. So my three favorite fragrances at the moment, Baccarat Rouge 540 by Maison Francis Cook de Jean. You've got Black Phantom by the House of Killian. And then you have... Uh, Mandorlo di Cecilia by Aqua de Parma. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it's helpful. Um, if you're going out or you're in, um, in a space where you're looking for your next new fragrance, please comment what it is down below. If you get the chance to um, order any samples or try these, I'd love to know what you think of them. So please comment and thank you again for joining.